If you want to make changes to a website after the website is loaded, you need to do so by changing the DOM inside the browser, or in other words, changing the elements inside the website. Like I mentioned in the first episode of this JavaScript course, when we load a website into the browser, we do so in different layers, and the last layer we load into the browser is going to be the JavaScript layer that allows for us to change content in real time at any point while we're actually viewing the website inside the browser. This means that using JavaScript, we can actually allow the user to go inside our website and change some of the content or make it behave differently at any point while they're viewing the website. So the first thing you need to know before we can actually make changes to a website in real time using JavaScript is how to grab the nodes we have inside the DOM. Again, if you're a little bit confused about the vocabulary, such as what is a node, what is the DOM, go ahead and watch the previous episode because I do explain everything when it comes to the DOM in the last episode. Now, when it comes to grabbing nodes inside the DOM, we can do so in a couple of different ways. We do actually have some newer methods today that we can actually use, and you have actually seen these methods in some of the previous episodes I made in this course here. We did have some projects where we used a couple of different methods built into JavaScript we could use in order to grab elements. So we're just going to go ahead and go over the different ways we can do so in this episode here. So for many years now, we've actually had certain methods built into JavaScript that allow for us to grab a certain element or a node inside the DOM by referring to a class, an ID, or a tag name that might be associated with that element. And as you can see on the screen here, I do have the different methods listed so you can see them. The first method is one that we use in order to grab a element or a node based off an ID it might have attached to it. So we need to refer to the DOM first of all, because we need to actually say, we need to grab something inside the DOM, inside the browser. We do that by referring to the document that we have inside the browser that is currently loaded into the browser. So by saying document dot something, we can then do something to the document. In the first example, I want to grab a certain element based off an ID. So I say document dot get element by ID. And then inside the parentheses, I then refer to the ID name of the element inside the website. In the second example, we can also see we can grab a element based off a class. So we can say document dot get elements by class name. Or if you want to grab something by a tag name, we can also do that by saying document dot get elements by tag name. Even though we have these methods we can use even today, we do have some new methods that are much easier to use if you want to grab something inside the DOM. And you might have seen some of these methods in some of the previous episodes where we created some different projects. And these are the methods called query selector and query selector all. Now, query selector goes in and allows for us to grab some kind of element or a node inside the DOM by referring to either a class, ID, or tag name inside just this one method. Now, the first method called query selector allows for us to just grab one element from inside the DOM. And if we don't specify specifically which node we want to grab, it's only going to grab the first node it finds inside the DOM. Meaning that if I want to grab a anchor tag, then it's not going to grab all the anchor tags or a specific anchor tag. It is just going to grab the first one it finds inside the website, which is the one at the top of the document. Now, but let's say we want to grab a lot of different nodes inside the DOM of the website. We can actually do that using the query selector all method, which is going to go in and grab all the different nodes that matches the search term we put inside the method. So if I wanted to grab all the different anchor tags inside a website, I just need to write a inside our method. And then it's going to go in and grab all the different links or anchor tags inside the website and put them inside an array so we afterwards can do something to all the different anchor tags inside the DOM. An example here would be if I wanted to grab all the links inside the website and change the names inside of them or the links where they lead to, then I can do that using this specific method here. Now, in the future of this course, I will be using query selector or query selector all in order to grab elements inside our website or inside the DOM of the browser. Remember, in JavaScript, if you want to change something inside a website, it's important that we can actually grab the element we want to change before we start making changes to it. So it's important that you know and remember what exactly query select and query selector all can do, and you know how to use them inside your website. So we're going to get very familiar with these different methods in a couple of next episodes. So I hope you enjoy and I hope to see you in the next episode.